There are a lot of secrets in the ocean, and with each dive, we're a step closer to finding them. From bizarre underwater circles to a mysterious human-sized blob, here are the 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 20. Bizarre Underwater Circles Perhaps you've heard about crop circles. These are patterns that appear seemingly overnight. They've intrigued many because of how complicated they are and how quickly they appear in fields. However, most of them have been proven to be created by artists. But these underwater circles are different. You see, these ornate circles were first spotted off the coast of southern Japan in 1995. Due to their appearance, they've been likened to the crop circles that appear in fields. These formations are quite large, with most of them spanning about 7 feet in diameter. You see, for so long, researchers were confused as to who or what was creating these circles. Vibrations underwater? Aliens? A diver? What's more astounding is the fact that it took years for the truth to be revealed. You see, it wasn't until 2011 that researchers found the culprit behind these formations. At first, they couldn't believe the truth. It turned out that the ones responsible for these formations were puffer fish, each measuring about 5 inches long. Now you're probably wondering why these tiny creatures exert so much effort to create these circles. Well, it's all part of their mating ritual. Scientists discovered that these circles play an important role in the mating and reproductive process of pufferfish. The males carefully and meticulously create these circles for seven to nine days. They swim in and out of the circle, using their fins to sculpt valleys in the sandy bottom in order to find a potential mate. Once they're done and satisfied with its shape, the males decorate the peaks with shell fragments and coral, adding an aesthetic appeal to their creation. Once a female pufferfish is satisfied with the circle, they will mate with the male, and the same formation serves as their nest. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Underwater Holes Now here's another bizarre formation discovered underwater. Several deep, perfectly spaced holes were discovered over 8,000 feet beneath the Atlantic Ocean. Is this pattern yet another creation by a sea creature? Or could this be caused by something else? These holes were first discovered by researchers from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, during an expedition in the Atlantic Ocean. They found a series of rectangular holes neatly lined up about 1.6 miles below the ocean's surface. The precision of these holes, with their regular intervals and formation in a nearly straight line, might make you think they were man-made, but that's not the case. Theories about the cause of these holes range from mundane to bizarre. Many kaiju, aliens, or even starfish. Unfortunately, we're yet to uncover the actual culprit behind these holes. Who knows? Perhaps, just like the underwater crop circles, we might learn that these mysterious holes were created by another bizarre sea creature years from now. Number 18. The Sunfish If you've been diving before, there's a chance that you've already seen this incredible creature, the Mola Mola, or the Sunfish. This creature is among the most amazing sights you can encounter underwater. Just as its name suggests, the sunfish is a creature that loves lounging in the sun so much that it spends up to half its day basking at the water's surface. It can be pretty intimidating to get up close to these creatures as well. After all, they're the size of a small car, weighing around 2,200 pounds on average, but capable of reaching a whopping 5,000 pounds. They're the world's largest bony fish, so seeing one in person can be astounding. They primarily feast on these gelatinous beings, which despite being low in calories seems to do the job of sustaining the massive size of sunfish. This diet also contributes to their surprisingly high growth rate, with the ability to gain hundreds of pounds in just a year. And yes, these creatures are harmless to humans. Even though they're bigger than us, these guys are actually more intimidated by divers whenever they see one. Number 17. F4U Corsair. In 1945, amidst the Second World War, a Vought F4U Corsair accidentally crashed in the ocean. During a routine training mission from Molokai Field to Owa Field, the aircraft, piloted by Lieutenant W.H. Holden, began to sputter and eventually ran out of fuel. The skilled pilot managed a smooth water landing, thankfully surviving with just a minor injury. The plane, however, wasn't so lucky and ended up sinking to its underwater grave where it remains to this day. Now resting about 110 feet below the ocean surface near Oahu, Hawaii, 
The Corsair has become a site only available to divers. Intact and anchored in the sand, it provides a unique habitat for marine life, including various fish, turtles, and eels. Divers and photographers seek out this site, drawn by both its historical significance and the intriguing way nature has reclaimed this piece of machinery. However, visiting the site requires advanced diving skills due to the strong currents in the area. Number 16. Jason Voorhees If you're from Minnesota, there's a chance that you already know about this curious underwater site, none other than Jason Voorhees. Yes, you heard that right, the iconic slasher villain from the hit series Friday the 13th. This eerie underwater attraction was created by Doug Klein, a passionate fan of the movies and a scuba diver. The statue, which Klein crafted using scraps from construction sites and a fake head borrowed from his diving buddy, was placed 112 feet below the surface at Louise Mine Lake in 2013. Installing this figure underwater was something that only a dedicated horror fan could do. The buoyant nature of the materials used, including wood and bubble wrap, made the initial submersion a bit of a spectacle. The statue, once intended to be chained to a pipe at the bottom of the lake, broke free and shot to the surface like a Polaris missile, causing concern for any unsuspecting kayakers or tubers above. However, Klein eventually managed to successfully anchor Jason underwater. Over the years, the statue has undergone some wear and tear, contributing to its even more terrifying appearance. It's become a national destination for divers, with people traveling from as far as Washington State in California to visit it. Unfortunately, the depth of 112 feet ensures that only advanced open water divers can access it. Not that anyone would fancy being jump scared while diving. Number 15. Gnomes. This discovery might not be in the ocean, but it's definitely something strange. If you were to dive into Wast Water, England's deepest lake, you would discover something incredibly peculiar. Here, far removed from any typical garden setting, lies an unusual collection of garden gnomes, enclosed by a picket fence, nestled at the lake's bottom. Wast Water is known for its depth of nearly 260 feet. The fact that someone dared to install a gnome garden at the bottom of the lake is entirely unexpected. Seriously, why would anyone exert the effort of carefully installing several gnomes underwater? What's more, no one noticed that anyone did it. Initially, this gnome garden was placed at a depth of around 157 feet. However, following the tragic deaths of three divers in separate incidents suspected to be linked to their quests to find the garden, the Lake District National Park Authority requested its removal. Police divers, adhering to the safety concerns, removed the original garden. But the gnomes remained popular because of a new installation, this time just a little beyond the lake's 50-meter depth limit. This new installation, while still a point of contention between those who view it as harmless fun and others who see it as a potential hazard, continue to be a fun challenge for divers all around the globe. I must say that I like the persistence of the people who installed these gnomes. Just imagine all the effort it took to accomplish this underwater gnome garden. Number 14. Heracleon Rediscovered in 2000 by French underwater archaeologist Frank Gaudio and his team, Heracleon is similar to a real-life Atlantis. This is arguably among the most astounding underwater sites we've discovered. The city's origins trace back to the 8th century BCE, during Egypt's Third Intermediate Period, and it flourished around the 6th century BCE under Pharaoh Necho II. Located near the canopic mouth of the Nile, Heraclion was perfectly positioned to become a bustling metropolis, thriving as a center of trade and religion. Unfortunately, like all great cities at the time, Heraclion had its decline. The rise of Alexandria in 331 BCE gradually overshadowed it, and a combination of natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, and rising sea levels contributed to its eventual submersion. By the 8th century CE, Heraclion had disappeared beneath the Mediterranean waves, largely forgotten until it was rediscovered. It was then that Heraclion's beauty was revealed to the world. Colossal statues, pottery, coins, and even a significant steel detailing a decree by Pharaoh Nectanebo I were among the findings. These discoveries confirmed Heraclion's existence, known previously only through ancient texts before it was found. And so today, divers from around the globe visit this site to witness the beauty of the underwater ruins. Number 13. The Antikythera Mechanism In 1900, divers off Point Gifladia on the Greek island of Antikythera discovered the Antikythera wreck, a Roman-era shipwreck dating from the second quarter of the first century BC. 
Today, this wreck is known for one of the most mysterious archaeological finds just yet, the Antikythera Mechanism. Perhaps you have already heard about this intriguing archaeological discovery. After all, this alleged ancient technology has captured the curiosity and intrigue of historians and archaeologists since its discovery. Experts believe that this complex device dates back to around 100 BCE. It's a device from over 2,000 years ago, about the size of a shoebox, crafted from bronze and containing a sophisticated assembly of at least 30 gears. Initially, the purpose of this mechanism was a complete mystery, but now, experts largely agree that it was used to track astronomical phenomena and predict eclipses, charting the positions and phases of the moon, sun, and possibly even the planets known to the ancients, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. What made this ancient tool so intriguing was the fact that it was so advanced that it could even track the cycles of athletic games like the ancient Olympics. Now who created this incredible machine? While the exact inventor is unknown, Hipparchus, the ancient astronomer known as the father of trigonometry, is a prime candidate. His advancements in understanding celestial bodies and their movements make him a likely creator, or at least an influence on the mechanism's design. Despite its incredible complexity, the mechanism's significance was not fully recognized until the mid-20th century. Before that, it was just one among many artifacts recovered from a shipwreck that was assumed to be carrying treasures from Greek cities looted by the Romans. Even more fascinating is the suggestion that the Antikythera mechanism might not have been a unique invention, but rather the culmination of a long tradition of such devices, implying that there might have been earlier, now lost predecessors to this ancient Greek computer. Number 12. Apollo 11 Engines It's 1969, and Apollo 11, the iconic mission that first brought humans to the moon, is propelled into space by the immense force of its five F-1 rocket engines. These engineering marvels, each boasting 1.5 million pounds of thrust and a mind-boggling 32 million horsepower, burn through a whopping 6,000 pounds of kerosene and liquid oxygen every second. After serving their purpose for a mere 165 seconds, they plunge back to Earth, finding their watery grave 67 miles off the coast and 2.6 miles deep in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, 42 years later, Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon, has launched an ambitious expedition to recover the engines that propelled our space progress tremendously. Using state-of-the-art deep-sea sonar technology, Bezos' team located the engines, and over a three-week period at sea, retrieved enough components to construct two full F-1 displays. Amazingly, they found the engines about 14,000 feet beneath the Atlantic with the help of remotely operated vehicles. However, there's still a bit of doubt as to whether the engines truly are the ones launched during the Apollo program. Once confirmed, these engines would be among the most historic underwater finds of the 21st century. Number 11. Ancient City In August 2020, archaeologists announced a groundbreaking discovery beneath the modern-day city of Dwarka, India. They unearthed a city believed to be around 9,000 years old. This ancient metropolis isn't just any old pile of ruins. It's been linked to the legendary city of Dvaraka, said to have been founded by Sri Krishna, a major deity in Hindu mythology. Imagine a city so old that it predates many known civilizations. That's why the city of Dwarka is an unprecedented find. Dwarka, known for its reference in the Mahabharata, was more of a legend than a historical fact until now. The discovery is significant as it supports the historicity of the Mahabharata, bridging the gap between mythology and history. The ancient city of Dwarka, according to myth, was a marvel of urban planning, split into six well-defined sectors, complete with residential and commercial zones, wide roads, palaces, and public facilities. If the legends are true, this place was the ancient version of a metropolitan hub, complete with 700,000 palaces made of gold, silver, and precious stones. Krishna's Dwarka, as the story goes, met a dramatic end, swallowed by a massive flood, returning to the ocean depths. Archaeological excavations and underwater research around the modern city of Dwarka have uncovered structures, stone anchors, dressed stone blocks, and fortification walls, suggesting a significant proto-historic settlement. However, we have yet to discover the true scale and wonder of this legendary lost city. Number 10. Fake Treasure Here's a story of a discovery that's a literal roller coaster ride. This goes to show just how life can be unfortunate sometimes. 
It all began in 2010 when Pennsylvania native Jay Miscovich claimed he had found a treasure trove of emeralds weighing up to 150 pounds in the ocean. He claimed that he, along with his partner Steve Elchlep, decided to explore the seabed of the Gulf of Mexico. In an undisclosed location was the bed of emeralds. Or at least, that's what they thought they found. The area was only 55 feet deep and littered with debris from various shipwrecks. Yet no specific wreck was visible near the emerald find. The total haul was significant, potentially worth millions. To capitalize on this, Miskovich formed Emerald Reef LLC and even purchased a 115-foot boat for salvage operations, spending around $700,000 on the venture. The emerald's authenticity was initially confirmed by a gemologist from the Smithsonian Institution and an appraiser from Christie's Auctions, who identified the gems as Colombian. Despite the initial appraisals, Miskovich's claim was shrouded in secrecy and legal complexities involving marine salvage law. He avoided making the find public until he had a more straightforward legal path to claim ownership and profit from the emeralds. As Miskovich's story unfolded, it attracted the attention of various parties, including the Spanish government, who could claim a portion of the salvage profits if the emeralds were from a Spanish ship. Unfortunately, the story began to fall apart when it was discovered that the emeralds had been coated in epoxy, a polymer not invented until the early 20th century. This revelation cast significant doubt on the authenticity of the find and its supposed ancient origins. The condition of the emeralds also did not align with those typically recovered from 17th century shipwrecks, diminishing their proposed value. Unfortunately, Miskovich perished before the ordeal with the emeralds was settled. This just makes you wonder if sometimes stumbling upon treasure can be a curse instead of a blessing. Number 9. SS City of Cairo On the night of November 6, 1942, the SS City of Cairo, a cargo and passenger ship, met a dramatic fate. It was torpedoed by a German U-boat in the South Atlantic, plunging the ship and its secret cargo into chaos. The ship's sinking was not just a wartime casualty, but also a human tragedy. Of the 302 people aboard, only 195 survived after enduring harrowing conditions in lifeboats. Some lifeboats were rescued after 13 days, while the last one was found after 52 days at sea, with only two survivors. At the time, the ship was also carrying a massive cache of Indian silver rupees, intended to be melted down for war materials in Britain. However, these coins, critical to the war effort, ended up at the bottom of the ocean presumed lost forever. For nearly seven decades, the SS city of Cairo and its treasure lay undisturbed on the ocean floor. Then, in 2011, a breakthrough came when Deep Ocean Search Limited began searching for the ship, authorized by the UK Ministry of Transport. After weeks of meticulous scanning and exploration, they found a wreck that eventually became the SS city of Cairo. The ship had split into two parts and was partially buried in silt and mud on the ocean floor resting at nearly 17,000 feet. This made the salvage operation one of the deepest of its kind. The team successfully recovered almost 100 tons of silver coins from the wreck over eight months, completed in September 2013. The coins, worth 34 million pounds, were handed over to the UK Treasury, with Deep Ocean Search receiving a share of the sale. Number 8. Ocean X's Alien Spaceship In June 2011, the Ocean X team, led by Peter Lindbergh and Dennis Elberg, made headlines with their discovery in the Baltic Sea. They found an unusual object on the seafloor that some speculated to be a UFO due to its shape and features. This Baltic Sea anomaly, as it became known, was captured on sonar images and sparked widespread intrigue in various theories. However, the scientific community agrees this object is more likely a natural geological formation. Experts analyzed samples collected by Ocean X and concluded that they were typical of stones like granites, gneisses, and sandstones commonly found in glacial areas. The composition of these samples suggests that they are products of natural processes related to glacial and post-glacial activity. The sonar image itself has been criticized for its quality, and some scientists believe it could depict a rock outcrop, sediment from fishing trawlers, or even a school of fish. Despite the initial excitement, the consensus is that the Baltic Sea anomaly is not an extraterrestrial object, but an interesting geological feature formed by natural processes. Either way, it's intriguing nonetheless. Number 7. RMS Republic The RMS Republic, 
a white Star Line steam-powered ocean liner met its fate in a collision in 1909. Known as the Millionaire Ship, it sank after a collision with the SS Florida off Nantucket. The ship, famous for issuing the first CQD distress call via Marconi wireless telegraphy, rescued around 1,500 lives. The collision and subsequent sinking took six lives. The Republic was believed to be carrying a substantial cargo, including a rumored $3 million in gold eagles, contributing to its legend. The wreck was rediscovered by Captain Martin Bayerl in 1981, lying about 50 miles south of Nantucket Island at a depth of approximately 270 feet. The discovery of the RMS Republic sparked interest due to its historical significance and the mystery surrounding its rumored treasure. However, the full extent of the ship's cargo and the truth behind the tales of vast riches remain a mystery today. Number 6. World War II Submarine Wreck In September 2020, divers in Southeast Asia discovered the wreck of a U.S. Navy submarine, believed to be the USS Grenadier. The Grenadier sank in 1943 after being attacked by Japanese aircraft. The discovery was made at the northern end of the Straits of Malacca, between the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra. This discovery was possible thanks to military records and information from fishermen about snag nets in the area. The wreck, located at a depth of 280 feet, required special diving equipment due to the extreme depth. The USS Grenadier, known for defending Midway and patrolling Southeast Asian coasts, was hit by a torpedo, which led to its sinking. After the sinking, its crew was captured and became prisoners of war, enduring harsh treatment. The wreck has become a haven for sea life thriving with coral and fish. Number 5. Human-Sized Blob In June 2013, divers off the coast of Cuba encountered a mysterious human-sized blob. With its bizarre and ominous size, divers were naturally wary of this big blob. But as it turned out, it was nothing dangerous. On the contrary, it's an astounding egg. You heard that right. This alien-looking blob is the egg mass of a squid. These masses can reach up to a staggering six feet. As time passes, these blobs will be filled with tiny, soon-to-hatch baby squid. The discovery was initially baffling, leading to some exciting research. The adult diamond-shaped squid is an impressive creature in its own right, capable of growing to a considerable size. It's quite astonishing how, to this day, we continue to discover the strangest quirks of ocean creatures. Now, if some of you guys have seen other bizarre marine life while diving, Feel free to share your story in the comments down below. Number 4. Enigma Machine In 2020, divers trying to remove fishing nets from the Baltic Sea stumbled upon an unexpected find, an old code-making machine used by the German forces amidst the war. This tool, which looks like a typewriter, is an ingenious device for encrypting messages invented by German engineer Arthur Scherbius after World War I. Initially developed for commercial use in the early 1920s, it eventually found its way into military and governmental communications. The Enigma machine's complexity lay in its electromechanical rotor mechanism, which scrambled the 26 letters of the alphabet in various ways. Each time a key was pressed, the electrical pathway changed, making it incredibly difficult to decode messages without knowing the specific settings used for encryption. Despite its perceived invincibility, the machine's codes were first cracked by the Polish mathematician Marian Rajewski in the early 1930s. Later, British efforts, particularly by Alan Turing and his team at Bletchley Park, succeeded in breaking the Enigma codes, significantly aiding the Allied war effort. Number 3. 17th Century Submarine They say that desperation is the mother of invention, a sentiment that holds true even in the olden days, as evidenced by this 17th century submarine, or well, it was used as an alternative submarine back when people had no way of exploring the deeper parts of the ocean without losing air or succumbing to the increased pressure. Discovered off the Florida coast in 1980 near the sunken Spanish galleon Santa Margarita, this copper dome was initially presumed to be a cooking implement for fish stew. However, recent findings by maritime archaeologists suggest it's a diving bell from the 17th century. The dome's size, the absence of charring, and its copper construction with a heavy rim and rivets make it unlikely to be a cauldron. It's now believed to be a part of an early submersible used by treasure hunters to salvage goods from the sunken ship. Humans can be pretty resourceful when goods are involved, and history is proof of this. Number 2. Roman Coins Imagine you're enjoying your vacation, 
snorkeling off Spain's Mediterranean coast, enjoying a family vacation, when suddenly you stumble upon a treasure trove of Roman gold coins. That's exactly what happened to two amateur divers, Louis Lenz and Cesar Jimeno, who discovered 53 Roman gold coins in Portichel Bay. This find, dating back to the 4th and 5th century CE, included coins from emperors like Valentinian I, Valentinian II, Theodosius I, Arcadius, and Honorius. These coins were so pristine that nearly all the inscriptions were readable. It's believed that a wealthy local landowner hid these coins to protect them from barbarian invaders. How's that for a family vacation souvenir? Archaeologists believe that the coins might have been purposefully hidden during the power struggles during the Western Roman Empire's final stretch. Now, you're probably wondering where the coins ended up. Well, once the coins were thoroughly studied, they were set to be displayed at the Blasco Archaeological and Ethnographic Museum in Shabia. And now it's time for today's topic. A group of divers decided to explore an unmarked location off the coast of Greece, and what they discovered underwater shocked the whole world. A sunken city isn't something unheard of. In fact, we've discovered plenty already, and while there's no doubt that there are several more out there, the grandeur they've described garnered a lot of judgmental reactions. Grand statues showing warriors with several arms, wielding swords, a monstrous creature that looks straight out of a legend. These are only several things that were found in the underwater wreck. Now who knows just what civilization created these statues this time? Well, until we verify the discovery, we're yet to know. Number 1. 170-year-old Champagne Are there any wine connoisseurs out there in the audience? Perhaps this is something you fancy. In 2010, divers exploring a shipwreck in the Baltic Sea discovered a remarkable find. 168 bottles of champagne nestled in the dark, cold depths of the sea. The bottles had no labels, but thanks to their high-quality corks, it was easy to determine their origins. Among them were champagnes from the renowned house of Vauclicot Ponsardin, which still exists today. This fortunate discovery provided a rare opportunity for scientists to analyze and even taste this well-aged beverage. The analysis showed that these old champagnes differed significantly from their modern counterparts. They contain lower alcohol levels and much higher sugar content, about 140 grams per liter, compared to the 6 to 8 grams per liter found in contemporary champagnes. This sweetness was likely due to the addition of sugar syrup during the final stages of production, a common practice in the 19th century. Moreover, the bottles contain high levels of iron and copper, hinting at the use of metal vessels in the winemaking process, a stark contrast to today's steel vats. As for the taste, Initial descriptions weren't exactly appetizing, with terms like wet hair and cheesy being thrown around. However, once the wine had a chance to breathe, its profile transformed dramatically, taking on grilled, spicy, smoky, and leathery notes alongside fruity and floral elements. One of the scientists even remarked that the aroma stayed with him for several hours. The sugar content of these champagnes has led researchers to speculate that they were likely bound for Germany where sweeter wines were preferred at the time. And as for the value of these underwater treasures, some of the bottles fetched astonishing prices at auction, with one bottle selling for $44,000 in 2011, and others reaching up to $156,000 in 2012. The funds raised from these sales have been used to support marine archaeology scholarships. Would you be willing to sample a century-old champagne? Well, I know I would. So which of these underwater discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.